Hey there, my lovely subscriber. I have a special lesson for you today. You must be curious about what it is. Are we going to make some dresses or share some tips on how to do this or that? No. We have something different for you today. We are going to make a two-sided wall bathroom display. It's a fun and easy project and it will also inspire you to make some awesome background for your garment shoots or anything else you want. You know how creative you can be. We are going to use two software today. One is Clo3D which you know I love. And other one is Apex Face Design software. With these two we are going to create a stunning design. Are you ready? Let's go! First, I am going to create the base for this. We need 3 rectangles or square, 1 for the floor and 2 for the walls. A 50 inch square should do it. Hmm, it looks a bit small. Let's make it bigger. 100 should be perfect. I need 3 of them so I will make 3 and set the interval to 100. It doesn't matter where they are as long as they are evenly spaced. Now it's time to put each square in its place. For this I will use the gizmo tool. It's super easy to use but it takes some time. And I don't want you to lose interest so I will speed up this part for you at a triple speed. There the base is done. Now we need to add some thickness to it. Let's make it 70. Nothing is happening. Why? Oh, I goofed up. I increased the pressure instead of the thickness. Let's fix that. I will set the pressure to 0 and the thickness to 100. Everything is 100 so far. How funny. The curvature geometry of pattern is already off. So, we don't need to worry about that. To show you what curvature will do, let me turn it on. Look, this is the result but I want a crisp look so I prefer it off. Here is the full view of our set from all angles. We won't turn on the simulation at any point because that will make it look like a fabric. And I don't want that. Well, there was no need for extra thickness but I still like to do that. It's time to add some tiles to our bathroom. Let's go to fabric 1 and choose the style we want. I have downloaded a few designs for this. Let's see which one we are going to use. This one or this one? Hmm, I will go with the first one. There it is. But this style doesn't have a seamless design so I have to use Photoshop as well. That's kind of unpredictable. Well, what can I do? Good things take time, my friend. I'm not going to explain this process right now but if you want to know I will make a detailed video about it. So let me know in comment box below. This looks fine to me. Let's go back to Clo. Import our file and check. There we go. We did a great job. Now our walls can't have the same color as the flooring. 
we have the budget so let's make a copy of this fabric and load the texture we want it's not assigned yet so i will select the wall and assign it now we are going to add a division between these with some other tiles like the one our bathroom has for this i will use the point tool you can divide the line as you like i am going to make it 36 and 20 add perpendicular lines at the y axis so that we can cut them later Now select the two small rectangle and assign a new fabric to them. This is the texture I was imagining it with, but it's too tacky, right? I should tone it down. I will desaturate it first so that I can see which color will work best for this. I'm not sure what to choose. Let's play it safe and keep it cream in color. Okay, so what's next? A bar tub I guess. I am not sure what dimensions is good. So I will make one randomly and adjust it later as per need. This is too small. I have to adjust it. After this we can set the thickness of our tub. I will make it 4 inches from all sides. Use the offset internal line and keep in mind in which direction the new line is created to avoid redoing the work. Select all four lines and add a point to their intersection by using the right click. Now we can get rid of the extra area from it. You can do it one by one or use the shift key to select all at once and delete later. Select the inside rectangle and use the trace tool to turn the shape into a pattern. Select the shape and offset its pattern outline. This will create a gap between the shape and the outline. If you are not sure how to do this, you can watch the video above for a quick tutorial. Next, select the internal part of the shape and cut it. This will give us the base and the boundary for our tub. We don't need these internal lines, so let's delete them. But before that, let's try to align them with this edge. This will make our tub look more symmetrical. This class is very easy and fun because all we have to do is to make shapes and align them as we want. I will fast forward this part, but you can pause the video anytime if you want to follow along. If you don't know how to make shapes and align them, you can watch our previous classes on that topic. The link is in description below. Alright, our tub is ready, but it looks too thin, right? Let's add some extra thickness to it. Now, let's give it a nice fabric texture. I have chosen this one specially for this project. It looks like a soft and cozy material but before we apply it, let's set a color for the base and adjust some settings for it. I like this black shiny color. It matches the theme of our bathroom. Now let's apply the texture to the border. How does it look? Oh no, it's kind of transparent. I must have saved it as PNG format. That's not good. It won't affect the final render but it might cause some problem while working currently. Let's not take any chance. We still have a lot of work to do. Let me change it and import JPG format this time. There we go. Now it's look much better. Don't you agree? Our basic set is ready but we are missing something. Where will we keep our shampoo and soap? We need some shells for them. Let me make some space for them quickly. I will use the same technique as before and make shapes and align them. You can see how easy and fast it is to create object using glue. It's ready. So let's assign a different fabric for this. I will use this one. 
it will contrast nicely with the tub now let's make a towel roll this is where we will hang our towels first we need to make two circles with 7 in circumference this will be our holder for the roll the roll should be metallic so let's assign a new fabric to it and change the type to metal i will use this one it looks like shiny and smooth metal now we need to position the circles so that they are parallel to the ground and the wall this is a work of precision so zoom in as much as you want clo lets you do that make sure there is enough space between the circle for the rod to fit in i will make a 5 in circle for the rod all the shapes are now in front of us so let's reduce their particle distance to 5 this will make them more smooth and realistic now let's add some extra thickness to them we don't want curved side geometry so turn that off this thickness is okay for the circles so let's place them inside the wall cool we need to set a higher value for the rod so i will write 1000 at first and change it later as needed let's fix it inside the circles and balance it properly this carpenter work is too tiring a little more to fix oops the towel rod seems a bit high to me so i will move it down all done Our towel rod is ready. Now we can go to Apex Face Design software. You must be wondering why we are here. Well, we need towel for our bathroom and this software is perfect to create them. That's why we are here. Let me tell you the simple steps to make one. First, we need to choose a design for our towel. We can use any image as reference. I have this one. It has a nice pattern and colors. To use this image, we need to slide down in the work menu list and select towel design convert image. This option will convert our image into towel. How cool is that? Next, we need to load the image by using the prepare image option. Browse your design and import it. Here is my design. The first step is simple. Analyze the image and select the colors precisely. This will tell the software about the colors used in the image. If you want to know more about this, check the link in my description. All colors are set. So, let's change the display mode to solid. This will show us the shape of our towel. Next, we need to decide the density of piles that will be created in our towels. Piles are the small loops of the fabric that make the towel soft and absorbent. I'm going to keep the value as it is, but if you want to take help of this item option, this will tell you the basic value for x and y. But you can change it as you like. At last, Since we have five color vertically I will keep it five. This is the result. I know it doesn't look like a towel at all, but wait. We are not done yet. We need to give it a towel effect. For that we need to select towel edit. This option will automatically set the position of the colors. But we can still change it more like by using this up and down arrow. This will help us to decide which color will show up and where. I like this one, so I will select done now. Let's try some different color ways and see how they look. I think this one is more attractive, don't you? It has a nice contrast and vibrancy. Now, let's see how our towel looks in 3D. We can simulate it using Apex Face Design software. I am happy with this setting but you can adjust it if you want. These yarns are too thin for my towel so I will look for the thicker ones. They will make the towel more fluffy and soft. 
Let's simulate this. Wait for the result. Wow, that's pretty nice. It looks like a real towel. Let's simulate the other color as well. Both designs looks nice, but I am going to stick with blue and pink one. It matches the theme of our bathroom. Or should I say I love it more? Let's save this as JPG so that we can use it in Clue 3D later. Speaking of our bathroom, let me show you what I did after stopping the work there. I added some details to make it more lively and realistic. I added some shampoo, soap and faucet. It looks like a spa, doesn't it? Oh, and I have saved this file as OBJ so that our bathroom won't fall apart during simulation. There is some issue with my 3D window since the bottle is little transparent from the side. But in the render window everything is fine. So no worries. Now let's add our towel to our bathroom. We need to make a rectangle for our towel. 6025 should be enough. It's a little too big so I will make it 5025 by shifting. Before adding any texture, let's hang this towel on the rod. I am being careful with it since I don't want any distortion here. Check every angle so that no corner mesh is colliding. I am also going to use the pen tool for my help when the simulation is on. Now we can move the top part so that it can hang properly. Nice. It works pretty well. Delete the rest of the pin by Ctrl W. Now we can add our texture to it. Oops, it's tilted. We have to rotate the pattern. Now I am going to use the offset pattern outline that will help us to create its ribbon. Select the internal lines and cut. Let me put the towel aside. A towel should be thick, so I will add some extra thickness to it. To be safe, I have created a ribbon for board design. But we need the pink one now. So I will select that. That's too thin. I have to make it wider. Since the pattern is stretched. Direct simulation will only make it harder for you to work. So undo it again and freeze your towel. After this, use superimpose side over the ribbon. Now there will be no problem. We forgot to add some extra thickness to the ribbon. So I will do that now. Let me show you a closer look. Oh, the thickness is too much for this. We have to reduce that. This much is fine. I have also created a print for the carpet. So let's add that quickly. This is all. Let's render it now. See? I told you the bottle was fine. Let me render it. I will show you the result in a while. And here is the result. Look at our beautiful bathroom set. We have created this using Clow and Apex Fins. And also the Photoshop. Don't forget about it. It looks so realistic and cozy. I hope you enjoyed this class and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorial like this. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next class. Bye!